Every single minute, I will get smaller and smaller. All of a sudden, the world of Minecraft will be looking very, very different as small mobs like rabbits and chickens will suddenly be massive. Exploring structures will be much harder and even climbing upstairs will be a challenge. And I'm going to beat Minecraft in hardcore mode whilst becoming very, very tiny. Right now, I am my normal size. So before things get a lot harder, let's grab some wood, make some tools, which can be upgraded to stone, and then go out in search of a village. And I have now shrunk. I am five foot ten. Probably hard to tell, but I'm slightly smaller than I should be. So I don't know how to prove this to you, but I am actually six foot one in real life. So yeah, you can add that to the SP737 Wikipedia. I've also been unable to find a village. I am rapidly getting smaller. Now five foot nine. It is time to get some food and pigs are on the menu. Travel so far, I am now out of food. Hopefully being smaller means that I'll be less hungry. But either way, I'm going to mine some logs, craft a smoker, and cook my food. Now that I've got more food, I'm five foot six, and I can keep exploring. More pigs will be useful, as well as some sheep, since I would like to make a bed. Although not before putting this enderman in a boat, and hopefully getting an enderpearl. No, we didn't. And I'm now five foot five. It, it might be starting to get noticeable. Let's grab some coal. This does look like a pretty good cave. And for now, I'm still not too small to be able to jump over one block. It seems this cave has turned out to be useless, but this one is much, much better. Maybe much, much better was a little bit of an overstatement. And I have finally found a village. At this point, I've got loads of food. I've already got a bed. Not sure what I actually need a village for. Also, is it just me or do, <laughs> do you look a lot taller than normal? Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting a bit smaller. Nonetheless, I'm hopeful that you're not getting bigger so I can still deal with you by towering up three. And collect up the iron. Do you look at that? A desert pyramid. And I also fancy an orange bed instead of a white one. I'm telling you guys, if it's a notch apple, then everything will really be coming together. I, I, I tell you what, diamonds. And the Aqua Affinity book could be useful for a helmet. And a saddle. Everything I could ever want is here. I'm going to take that emerald. I'm going to take that golden apple. Crosswalkers, not so useful for me. But this is still a job well done. Since I have enough string, I'm going to make a bow. Mine up all of their wheat to get emeralds. And also use this blast furnace to smelt my iron. Then I can grab a couple of pieces of flint and buy loads of arrows from a Fletcher. Get this another enderman. If I can just get him in a boat. Stop teleporting so much. Yes, we got him in. My axe is broken, but I will use my pickaxe. And we got nothing. But I do now think that I have everything that I need from this village. So I shall continue on my journey as I continue to shrink. Yeah, I'm four foot eight and I'm... <laughs> I'm really starting to feel small. But you know what shouldn't be small? The number of people that are subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy my videos, then don't forget to subscribe because I want to get to 4 million subscribers before the channel Happy Kids TV Nursery Rhymes. So don't let me lose. So since I'm getting really small... Does that mean my armor's getting small with me? Guess it does. Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm nearly as small as you, little guy. Well, maybe not quite just yet. But yeah, we are getting smaller and smaller by the minute. And the problem is, by the time I get to the nether, I'm going to be absolutely tiny, which will make exploration very, very interesting. The room portal ahead. And it looks like I can no longer walk up slabs. Can I? I can just about jump onto the block. This does have some useful stuff in like that, like that. You know what? I'll leave the chest plate, but the helmet will be very useful. And it is probably my best interest to mine up loads of wood. Otherwise, I am going to start getting stuck. What will the wood be used for? Slabs. So that now, if I, you know, when I can't jump up here, I will have to kind of jump up the slabs. And I better grab a little bit extra just for good measure. It's happened. I finally, I can no longer jump up one block gaps. And this boat is starting to look really, really big. Another ruined portal and some very useful gold. A shipwreck has also been spotted. Up here, there is a treasure map. And underneath, there is loads of treasure. Let's see where this map leads. It's starting to get very annoying that I can't jump up these gaps. So this right here is the spot. If we just keep going, there we go. With loads more iron, diamonds, and anything else I could dream of. Now, the only way out of here is going to be to stack up with slabs, which is a little annoying. And in fact, as I get smaller, it may be wise for me to think on my feet. By that, I mean, first of all, getting some cobblestone, craft a furnace, and smelt this iron. Let's also make diamond boots. And most importantly, a bucket. Now, if I grab some water, when I want to get up these gaps that I can't quite do, look at that. Brilliant. That way, I can save all of my slabs for actual emergencies, such as in the nether where water can't be used. I think it's definitely worth staying here for the night. And I really don't fill up that bed like I used to. <laughs> You know what? I, I do have a bit of a plan. From one of these villages, I can I can just find some carrots, which I've got right here. Perfect. And then a little bit of string. Although when I say string, I actually mean two pieces. And a fishing rod can be crafted with a carrot on the end. And stick a saddle on you. And we are on our way. I might be too small to get over one block gaps, but this pig is not. And he looks ginormous compared to me. You might be wondering why I didn't get a horse. And the reason is that horses, unfortunately, cannot go to the nether. So it's just me and Jameson the pig. All right, pig, don't panic, but we are going deep underground to find some lava. So far, I've had no success, but I can hear some up ahead. I can actually crouch underneath blocks now. Look at, Look at me, how tiny I am. And here is the lava. Okay, 
Pig, just, just wait there. Even though that's literally what you're doing already. I shall get this portal created. And before heading through, I want to check around this corner. Make sure there's no diamonds or anything hiding. Looks pretty empty. Let's drop off the water, grab some lava, light the portal, and lure the pig right through. Well, don't tell me you can't go through to the nether. Seriously, did I just bring you all this way for nothing? Well, I could kill you and get the saddle, but I'm... I'm not evil, I'm, I'm just gonna have to do this on my own. What a useless, useless pig. Oh, and I walk down a... St oh my goodness, this is just gonna be horrible. Thankfully, I can still just about jump the height of slabs. And if you can't go above, then just go under. Crouching is kind of getting on my nerves, so I'm just gonna wait here until I'm small enough to fit without crouching. Although I have realised I've still got a, a, you know, a few inches to go, so I might as well dig while I wait. And since I can't be bothered spending ages looking for a fortress, I'm going to use Pyre to find the fortress. And according to the calculations, it is eight chunks in this direction, which is the equivalent of 128 blocks. Look at that! My calculations work perfectly. Just going to try and successfully build my way over there. Oh, and a gas- Oh, are you kidding me? This is not good. Gas are bad enough as it is when I'm this small. It's even worse. All right, gas. That's it. Let's go! I may be small, but you're still no match for me. Operation Bridge to the Fortress has been successful. Let's use slabs to build our way up. And now I, I feel a little bit out of my depth. But despite that, I am still going to make a shield and start taking on these blades. All the while I'm still shrinking, I'm now two foot six. Smaller than this block. Does that mean I can hide under here? I wonder if, I wonder if I'm just safe under here. Yeah. Bet you can't get me. <laughs> Okay, turns out they can. They can just set this on fire. That's not good. Hopefully the shield should save me. Blaze rod number one obtained. When you're small, it does actually make things way, way harder. I'm still just about coming out successful. Oh my goodness, half a heart. We can make this. Let's eat up. Get into this little hole. There we go. We're nice and safe. I'm only tiny. It's not easy being small. And I make a new crafting table, new pickaxe, and return to the battle. There's blaze rod number two and three and four. There's a blaze rod up there, but it's it's just out of reach for me. That should be all of the blaze rods that I need. But I'll grab one or two more for good measure. And with that, I'm on the hunt for a bastion. I'm now so small that it is even becoming a struggle to jump over a slab. I can only just make it and I'm not sure for how much longer. So it really is a race against time to track down a bastion. In fact, I'm too late. <laughs> I can't even jump up a slab. I hate being small. The only other plan that I have up my sleeve is to make a load of sticks followed by ladders and then start using those to get around. This really has made Minecraft way harder than it should be. Oh, and I'm straight in lava. Ooh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ladders everywhere. Basically, everything is a danger to you when you're a small person. All right, good, good news. The Warp Forest has been spotted. And you know on this channel, we go big or go home. Ha 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 ha! We did it! Is it just me or do we fall a bit slower as well? I don't know, but... Oh my goodness, I jump off one block and I take fall damage. All right, Enderman, you might be a lot bigger than me, but I still pack a punch. Although he didn't give me an enderpearl, stupid thing. Maybe some of these guys will be a bit better for me. I got my first enderpearl. Honestly, this is really getting terrifying now. But I've got two. No, make that three. Maybe this is the method that I must choose. If this is what it's like and we're only in the nether, I can't even begin to imagine what the ender dragon fight's gonna be like. And look what's been discovered up ahead. I'm gonna begin by trading some gold to you guys. Yeah, don't, don't be surprised by how tiny I am, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm much bigger in real life normally. Got more some more pearls. Nice, we're on five. Despite me being absolutely tiny compared to you guys, you've been very, very useful indeed. All right, no more messing about. It is time to make my way into the bastion. Now, at first glance, it looks like it's the bridge bastion, which is pretty good news, but if a brute chases me, I, I, I'm basically toast. So my only option is to stay in the one wide gaps. Okay, I've made it up to the top. I'm just gonna stay hidden. Now, in this chest... Can I even reach it? I can't. Okay, we need to just place some blocks. I can't even place them above my head very well. I can't reach anymore. Let's get underneath it. And in we are. Okay, a diamond pickaxe. I'll take it. As well as the obsidian. We've nearly got enough to make a portal. Now for the other chest, which again, not... Oh, blue in three. This now changes everything. I'm not going to risk my life in a bastion. Instead, I can head through my tunnels. See you later, guys. I, <laughs> I will be coming back here in a hurry. And I can float on down this ladder and go after more endermen. And with looting three, I should in theory get more enderpearls. I did indeed get two more. So let's just keep going. So far, we're on 11. And that makes 13. And also 16, in fact, for good measure. I have only got nine obsidian. So it looks like it's time to head back to the bastion. Enderpearls... I think they work. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, why is the enderpearl barely gone anywhere? Thankfully I had that fire resistance. Julie noted that enderpearls are useless <laughs> when you're tiny. I wasn't expecting to say this, but when you get really, really small, this game is so, so hard. Before I set foot in that bastion, I have just realized my helmet's broke. So I'd better mine up some gold. This should be all the nuggets that I need. Let's craft the helmet like that and sneak our way into this bastion. Just feel like a little mouse in the walls doing this, but I'm going to take a risk and place that. I'm going to I'm gonna go through. I can't even 
go for block without taking loads of fall damage, which is bad. And even staircases are bad for me. But I do know that at the bottom of here, there is a chest. If I safely just get under it. Can I even place a block above me anymore? No, I need a, I need a ladder to place a block. It is so much hard work, this. Please be obsidian in here. Don't make me go any further. I can't even get into it. What's going on? Let me... Why can't I open the chest? I'm guessing I'm officially too small to open a chest now. But I can see obsidian. If I just mine it... Oh, uh oh Don't be mad at me, guys. Guys, guys. It's all right. <laughs> I'm safe in here, but I'm terrified. Didn't even pick up the stupid obsidian either. Let's um, let's see. What do we do in this situation? I'll tell you what we do. We lava you all. That's it. Get, get away from here. Leave me alone. I'm just a small little midget. We place another block above our head quickly. Don't dilly-dally. And I could open this chest. Wait, where's the obsidian? I definitely saw obsidian somewhere. It is a mystery, so the, uh, the search continues. Honestly, if a piglin brute sees me, it is without, without a doubt over for me. I'm absolutely terrified. I think I should just play it safe and dig through here, then mine up their gold, make myself some golden carrots since I am quite low, and trade until I get the rest of the obsidian. Man, I am so tiny. Two inches. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. I, I know I'm small, but I just want one small piece of obsidian, please. There we go. One of them gave it to me. I don't know who it was. All right, you can keep the rest of the gold. I don't need it. I've just got the very difficult task now of attempting to make a nether portal. This is gonna be so hard. I really hope a piglin brute doesn't come here to ruin my day either. And so far, this is going good. Placing these ones in the roof should be pretty easy. And that is the final one successfully placed down. I knew this was gonna get way, way harder when I got tiny, but hey, I'm leaving. I've successfully got everything I need. And I am in a cave. Of course I'm in a cave. Do you know how hard it is for me to get out of a cave? Well, I suppose there's nothing else for me to do except slowly climb my way out by digging and placing down ladders. Thankfully, I was not too deep down. I've made it out and uh, yeah, the world is the world is looking slightly different compared to when I was last here. This next bit should be fun, but let's go and craft all of the eyes of Ender. And which way are we going? All right, we're going that way. I'm now zero and minus two inches. I am actually getting smaller and smaller. Can I even place ladders now? Oh my goodness, I can't even place ladders. I'm too small. What's going on? Oh, wait, I can't. I have to look at the ground. I'm soon going to be microscopic level of height. I think my best chance of making any progress up these little hills and stuff is to get rid of that and grab some water. And then I will be able to climb up these one block gap. Okay, well, I, I, can I just get up there? Maybe I'm going to need two buckets of water or something like that. And yes, with two buckets, I can indeed scale any mountain. I don't know how far away this stronghold is, but something tells me it's going to be a long, long journey. Times like this, I wish I'd killed that pig and kept the saddle. A horse would have been very, very useful. The stronghold is still in this direction. Thankfully, I can now go ahead and use, <laughs> if I can place the boat. And yeah, I can actually travel in the boat. You, you can't really see much at the moment. I'm so small that I'm kind of underneath it. But yeah, I can, I can still kind of judge where I'm going. On my travels to the stronghold, we have come across a massive ocean, which has been very, very useful. Although just as I say that, it, it would appear that it's come to an end. Look at this MLG, guys. <laughs> it's like the world's shortest one, but it's, it's a big thing to, be, to me when I'm really little. And it would seem that we have actually gone past the stronghold. I wish I'd known about that when I went past. It takes me forever to travel. Although the interesting thing is, as long as I don't take fall damage, I basically use up no hunger, which is, is really interesting. According to my calculations, the stronghold is, is somewhere below me. Now, I don't know how do I actually dig down... Is this how we have to do it? We have to... MLG our way down, otherwise <laughs> the fall damage will cause some pain. I hear mobs and I see the stronghold. Okay, perfect. Let's let's dig our way in carefully. Now we're gonna do a little MLG and track down the portal room. I think it's crazy that I take damage going down on a slab. I really am the world's smallest player. So this is a safer way when you're on these slabs. This way is a dead end. Seriously, if you go the wrong way, it's so much effort to get back up these stairs. But I've still made it to the top. I've also discovered a chest, which I can just about... Okay, we don't want to waterlog it. I want to reach it and open it, please. There we go. Okay. Okay, I saw there was iron in there. Let's grab that. And could it be? Yes, we have finally found the portal room. This is about to be a terrifying experience, guys. Oh, I did not mean to throw those. Okay, I meant to MLG that. Don't waste any more I've ended up just about got enough. Well, yeah, I am I'm smaller than a silverfish. How terrifying is that? Hey there, little fella. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is absolutely... I am... I did not... <laughs> That's even more scary when they're in your face. Get out of it. Leave me alone. My goodness, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Oh, no, there's two of them. There's two of them. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep moving. I can take the hits, to be honest. They're doing basically not enough damage. If I punch one, then more will appear, though. So I've got to be really careful. Let's just start going up here. That is washing them away. And I've just got to break this, okay? That is that is the priority. We made it to the top. It's like climbing Mount Everest when you... It's, I've never get, had such a big thing. Get rid of you. All right. Silverfish have been escaped. I think we're all right. We've got a spare eye as well, which is pretty nice. The, uh, the eyes are going in. I can't even get round them. I can't even jump over them. I didn't know they had a hitbox. Very here indeed. Let's burn one of them. Place the final one. Eat a final golden carrot. And it's time to head into the battle. <laughs> Alright, of course, we're in a tiny little hole. 
This this is gonna be the hardest thing ever. You know what? I get the feeling that going over the void might be my best bet. Yes, it sounds like a stupid idea, but I'm a water bucket expert now. This really is a slow and steady wins the race kind of moment. And I should also endeavor not to drown. And we have made up to the top, although I, 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 I don't shoot me with those. Okay, hold on. This is this does make things a little bit more awkward. Okay, I can get me oxygen. I've just got to stay slightly below it, otherwise I'm in trouble. I'm going to grab that bit of water and mine underneath the dragon's breath. And finally, I am approaching the towers. Now, I'm not entirely sure if my arrows... Oh, they do work. It does look like... Okay, cool. I can be small and my arrows will still shoot. At least it looks like they're shooting. There we go. We got one. All right, game on, dragon. I don't know where you are. You seem to have flown to the other side. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, right. So if that happens, we have to dig down, right? Yes, and then we're safe. Since I can't really build upwards because I can't jump high enough. Oh, there's another one coming. Are you kidding me? Go down, SP. Go down. <laughs> oh, I should have MLG. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. My goodness, this is a flipping hard battle, isn't it? I've successfully made it up. Oh, are you kidding me? Not again. Quick SP. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be so annoying. All right, now is not a good time for there to be a water glitch. Please do not do this to me. Seem to have fixed it. I'm out of food other than golden apples, so I have to be really careful now. And whilst this will potentially be very, very risky, I'm going to attempt to swim up yeah, uh, to the top <laughs> without getting it by a fireball. I don't know how. Something like this has got to be the answer. Okay, I'm just above it as well. Uh, I'm in between two of the dragon's breaths. Gonna have to pop one of my golden apples. Honestly, I have one word for all this. <laughs> terrifying. But hey, as terrifying as it might be, the plan is still working. Now, can I shoot that? Come on. Come on, arrows. Don't let me down. Why are you getting stuck all the time? Let's drop one more here. Okay, I don't want to get hurt by this. I'm going to have to play some blocks or something. The dragon is peppering me with its dragon's breath. Seriously, all this work for one stupid crystal that we've got. Now, can I shoot more from up here? I think I can, you know, guys. There's one and another. I'm actually doing it. The other ones are super far away, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got to jump. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got this. We just got MLG at the bottom. Okay, wait, is there an enderman after me at the top? Okay, let's just... I think there's an enderman down there after me. Let's pop a gapple. No food left. I'm going to try and trap this enderman in a boat. It can me. It's, it's literally on the other end of my head. <laughs> what on earth? There we go. They're both in. Okay, we got them. All right, we're on one heart. I feel like things could just not get any worse in this situation. Oh, they could get worse. It could do that. Oh, my goodness. I'm not really sure there's any situation where I actually make it out of here alive. That's another tower gone. And oh, it's so stressful. But at the very least, I think I can hit. Yes, I can hit this tower from down here. And I can swim my way out. I think my only chance of success is to dig straight down. Oh, <laughs> it's so tight. As I was saying, though, my only chance of success is probably to scale that tower which we can't see and i have realized that digging underground is the safest way for me to do anything come out on the other side and we're getting very close all right we made it to the base i think i'm going to start by using a bunch of ladders to get up not got many left but it's a bit easier than using water buckets and that is all of my ladders gone so it is time to start using water oh my goodness it just flew right under me there i have made it to the top now i need to build a bridge away oh my goodness this is so dangerous this is so dangerous i'm just gonna be far away enough from the crystal so that i don't take any damage there we go okay i, I felt like i took damage but i didn't take damage that's good we've got to get rid of this one let's not mess about then this one okay just that one left now i'm gonna take a risk and go for the mlg although it's, it's not that bad you can you float down quite slowly when you're tiny there we go and the plan is to dig down underground and tunnel to the final tower. Mission accomplished to make it to the tower. Now, can I shoot it from here? It does look as if the answer is probably going to be no. So I'm just going to dig. I'm going to go down a layer and then I'm going to dig a little bit further away. It's about as good as the angle is going to get. I'm sure I can do it. There we go. We got it. Perfect. With all towers gone, it is just me versus the dragon. What a victory this will be if I can pull it off. Although at this point, I'm not really sure what my play is. I know I can hit it with arrows. There we go. I got my first take aim. Yes. But what about when it's in the middle? I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it when it's there. I also have to be able to dig down. You see, whenever it does something like that and I have to go like that, I have to be able to keep doing that, which means I can't stand on the bedrock. Or maybe, just maybe I can somehow reach it from under here. I, I don't know how. This is the scariest place to be. I'm going to see if swimming upwards is an option. Still underneath it, I can't quite reach it. So swimming up to the dragon isn't going to work. I've just taken another half a heart of damage. That's not good. Okay. So whilst it's coming down, I can get some hits there. I, I don't want to be in the firing line for this. I'm not sure I really see any other way to defeat the dragon other than just hitting it with arrows. So I let it fly away and then I just do what I can. We can do this. Come on, SB. If anybody can do it, it's you. And when it comes into perch, that's probably my best 
chance, although I keep missing all the arrows annoyingly. The dragon has now got just a quarter of its health left, and I have about two stacks of arrows to go. It would be a lot easier if I didn't have to keep contending with dragon's breath. But little by little, I have whittled its health away. No, not like this, it's be. Because <laughs> that was a close one. It has less than a quarter to go. Stop shooting me, please. It must be one or two arrows away. Come on now. As long as it doesn't fireball me or whatever. Dragon, come on. This is it. Yes, we did it! We defeated the dragon whilst being absolutely tiny with half a heart. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get any better than that. And you should definitely subscribe because that was the most painful experience and terrifying thing in my life.